Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial which is how to make a sticker using a picture. So as usual we're going to start off by going to designer.gravit.io. This time it actually doesn't matter how big our page is because we're doing something a little bit different. So go ahead and hit create. Um, and then make sure you sign in. So go here. It should say cloud sign in. Um, if this is your first time logging in, it will have a little pop up here. So you'll have to click on that and then click on a link that is below that. Ask me if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, make sure that you have this symbol in your top right corner that says that you are logged in. Use the regular credentials. Um, and once you are all set there, we are going to start looking for our picture. Now, the Cricut Maker takes a special kind of picture. It has to use a vector file or a .svg file. So um, you can go onto Google and you can look for like, you know, giraffe SVG or giraffe vector. Uh, and you might find some of these, but it's actually easier to go to a specific source that has SVG files. So we're going to start by going over here to vecteasy.com. Um, and this is going to search for just vector images. Um, it's still not perfect um, and there is kind of a premium option so there's some things that you don't get to use but overall it has a very nice wide variety of um, different um, vector images that you can use. So we're going to start, we're going to look for a giraffe um, and so you might get a pop-up, you know, it's a, it's a little annoying sometimes but they do have a good selection. Um, and you can see here we have some premium files. Um, we are going to go for the free ones that are down here. And I, I kind of like this draft. So if you like a um, picture, then you go here and you hit the free download button. This big orange one is the right one to click. Um, and see right now it says, oh, we well, just hit not right now. Just download it and it, it'll work just fine. Now, once you have that folder all downloaded, you can go ahead and click on it. Um, and then open that up and you can see here I don't actually have an SVG file which is the file type I told you you would need. Um, I do have this EPS file though which can actually be converted into an SVG file pretty easily um, and you can do that by using something like Cloud Convert. So Cloud Convert um, is something you just drag your file on there and it'll convert it into an SVG file. So if you have a, um, a file that you really really want and it's an EPS file then um, just go ahead and convert it and it's gonna work just fine. Um, I also um, tried with this one though so different ones that you download will have different files in there so this one this little cat vector set is gonna say okay you have to wait four seconds two one um, and then it'll download it. I can open this up and hit um, the .svg one and there's definitely a .svg file here. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it to my desktop so that now I have it saved here um, and I have two of those so it's just going to replace it. Um, then go back to grab it and you're going to do file, open file and then find the file that you had and press open. Now, if you try to do that um, without dragging it to your desktop, you're not going to be able to because um, it downloads all the files from VectEZ download as a zip file. So you are going to want to um, make sure that you're only getting um, what you want. Um, now, you can see I have way more cats than I want. I just want this cat. So there's a lot on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this cat and it's grouped um, so it makes it pretty easy. I'm going to drag her over here and then say, okay, let's delete all of this other stuff. And then I'm going to find her again and bring her back. So now I have my cat. Um, and that's basically all that you need to do. Um, if I look at this group, I can see that there's a bunch of paths here, which is what I want. Um, you can actually see it all getting broken down. Um, one thing that you can do to make sure everything works out right is you can hit this merge button um, and that's going to make sure that there's, if there's any overlapping then it just um, chooses the right one. You can see that it made the cat's face disappear this time. So there is some kind of funny stuff that will happen. Um, when you're using other people's files you're going to have some weird stuff happen. Um, Ideally, if you want it to be absolutely perfect and exactly what you want, you're going to have to make the file yourself, which you absolutely can do. Um, but um, for now, if you just want to kind of try things, see what works and what doesn't, that's great. If you learn anything new, feel free to tell me. Um, but 
this is really all you need to do. If you want to learn how to cut these out yourself, feel free to um, check out the um, tutorial on how to use the um, Cricut Maker yourself. Um, always make sure you ask permission before you use it, but um, happy sticker making. Thanks. Bye.